so on today's video guys i want to share this update with you guys okay because someone just got this email from home office yeah it's actually a refusal email it's not a good one yeah it's quite unfortunate because after all the struggles you know at the end of the day you receive something like this guys i know it's really heartbreaking as you can see on the screen but then i just thought that i should bring this to you guys so those of you in similar situations you know would definitely learn from this so if they have invited you for an interview you will know how to answer your interview questions okay because most of those questions that they are likely to ask you on that interview they are the basis for this refusal i don't know if you understand so it's because the person did not really give them the answers and they even stated it there that is because it could not provide you know the right answers that is why they are kind of refusing this visa i'll be reading out all this for you so you will learn guys let's not learn the hard way <laughs> stay tuned i'll be back shortly <laughs> Yeah, welcome back to my channel my name is blessing a of blessed blessing channel on this channel i film content on how you can migrate to the uk live generally in the uk uk lifestyle job with visa sponsorship in the uk any good thing that you can think of that has to do with uk those are the informations that i bring to us on this channel so if this interests you do not go anywhere without subscribing to my channel and also do not forget to hit on the notification bell below to get notified anytime i upload new videos to my returning subscribers thank you guys for always coming back to watch my videos i sincerely appreciate you god bless you you guys are the regis <laughs> okay so without wasting much of our time let's just dive right into it yeah so as you can see on your screen this is a refusal letter that was sent to one of us here okay that actually wanted to come over to the uk as a student okay so this person actually got the cast yeah who has already given this person cast so that's to say that if even getting that cast is not 100 percent guaranteed that you will get visa you understand this person has paid deposit he has gotten cash and everything at the end of the day the home office still went ahead to refuse the visa but like i told you guys he was invited for an interview so the basis for this which i'll be reading out for you guys is because of wrong answers that he gave when he was being interviewed yeah reason for decision okay your application has been refused for the following reason you attended an interview on so so and so date okay in connection with your application for entry clearance okay you were asked a series of questions in connection with your plans to study in the uk to establish whether you are a genuine student as required by paragraph so so and so okay of the immigration rules okay i have considered your application and circumstances in the round okay including the fact that you have been issued with a confirmation of acceptance for studies that's CAS in accordance with published guidance okay however i am not satisfied on the balance of your probabilities that you are a genuine student guys are you guys hearing in particular regards has been given to you have submitted a national diploma certificate dated so and so okay you were asked question in relation to the choosing university and your choosing course okay you are specifically asked what university you have chosen to study at this is one of the questions okay and you said university of so so and so okay in so so and so i don't want to mention that okay you will then ask a follow-up question as to why you have chosen this university to which you said the university is known for a passion when it comes to teaching quality and have been doing it for over 160 years and have won a lot of awards when it comes to creative industries you know teaching in the creative arts okay in this answer you have mentioned the length of time that the university has been operating for and the passion it has for teaching i note that i have also found this information out by searching the university website okay and looking at the about us page okay as such i do believe that you have had some level of research but this could have been noted on the sheet you had with you during the interview guys are you saying they are trying to say that he noted everything that he wrote down everything but then where else can you get this information you are not in the uk already it's always on the school website i don't know you can drop your opinion on the comment section yeah but to me i feel that the only way this person would have known this or anybody would have known this is on the school website okay because the person is not in the uk so the person may not really know this except all the information that he gets online but they are saying that they are not suspecting that he already read the information and he have them written down some way when he was answering the questions yeah okay let's move on you also said when asked about the facility that the university provides 
yes they have computer room and photographic studies okay 3d workshops okay photographic equipment in labs and libraries okay and these are all the things that will aid my research i do note that a library will aid your research okay but libraries are offered on all universities and does not give a compelling reason to choose this university over any other. You have stated other facilities and said that this will aid you. I struggle to see the relevance, okay, and connections between your global master of business and management course with equipment and spaces used in photography and arts courses, okay? And as such, I find the answer irrelevant, okay? You were asked what course you have chosen to study and you said Global Masters of Business Management with Integration, okay? You were then asked a follow-up question asking what are some of the modules you are going to be studying on this course? And you responded by saying, yes, there is three modules. Each is suitable to my future. There is digital marketing, consumer behavior, computer intelligence, and research, okay? There is also marketing management and global marketing and strategy, okay? In your answers, you said there was three modules, but I have checked the university website for the course and noted none of the modules you have mentioned are stated on the website, okay? So this is one of the reasons why they refuse this, okay? I also noted that observation made by the interviewer stated that you were reading of a script during the question and through the interview. I note as well that you use this prompt throughout the interview. As such, I have to take into account that you may not know the information and are only reading a script. You said when asked about your current employment, I have been working from one company to the other until I set up my own company myself, okay? You also said, currently, I have my own business in logistics and management. I buy and sell. You were also asked, what are your plans after you complete the course? And you said, future plans, I am looking for a business situation when I grow my own business, okay? And then said, I don't really know the kind of job I would like to do as I have my own business. I want to expand, okay? With this answer given, I believe you will, once you have completed this course, return home and continue to work in your business. As such, I do not see the reason why you would undertake this expensive course if it would not lead to any progression, okay? I also wonder who will look after your business while you are studying in the UK. I believe the knowledge you will gain on this course will not benefit you in the future as you are already operating your own business. Guys, are you guys seeing the reason for this refusal? Yeah. Given all the points raised above, I do not believe you are a genuine student, okay? I therefore refuse your application under so and so paragraph of the, of the immigration rules. Oh my God. So that was how this person got a refusal because he did not use the right words, okay? He did not answer some of those questions very well. And of course, according to the interviewer, they could see that he was more of reading a script, okay? So they feel like he has written all these answers down. Okay, so it's just on, you know, trying to read them out for them. So they feel that it's not coming out genuinely. Yeah. So, you know, when this thing is not flowing, they know. They are human beings. They will know. You can as well leave your thoughts on the comment section. But that part where they made mention of, you know, that this person went online to Google. They feel that he read the school website for him to have, you know, gotten all those informations about, you know, what the school is all about. You know, what they do, libraries and all that. Guys. How else do you want somebody that is not in the UK to get all those informations? He cannot walk to the school, okay? He's not already in the school. So, of course, most of those informations is something that they, they get from, you know, from online. So, that is just the only part that I am not really cleared with. That's my own opinion. But every other part, I think the person did not really do well. Another part I'm trying to consider is about the library, you know, and the photography part. Yeah, where he made mention of, you know, some of the some of the equipment, the facilities that the school has. Okay. Libraries, they are saying now that for libraries, they know that every school has library. So you cannot tell them that you chose that school because of the equipment, because of the library, because of computer when they know that every other school has computers. So if you are trying to answer that question, you should be able to put in more effort, tell them things, tell them the things that you have done, the things that you believe that this school or this course is going to inculcate in you. 
the things that you believe that is going to make you achieve you know it's going to enhance your knowledge there is university rating you know you should know the position of your university okay in terms of academic rating okay so yeah you could actually give them the score okay if you have it handy you could actually tell them you know the rate of your score you know how far they have been progressing academically okay but not you telling them that because they have library every school has library so that is it immediately i got this information i just thought it's why for me to let you guys know so that the upcoming students that want to come over to the uk will definitely know how to answer all these questions it's not just submitting the application even after submitting your application they could as well send you email for an interview okay so if you know anybody that has been sent email for an interview forward this video to the person you have watched this video up to this moment and you have not liked this video what are you waiting for? Just take a few minutes to like this video. Thank you again for watching. I remain blessing and most of blessed blessing channels. Thank you. Bye.